This simple recipe is for seared tuna with pak choy and a zingy Asian style dressing. I'm going to start by making that dressing. I'm going to add some mirin, which is a slightly sweetened rice wine. Next, I'm going to add about the same amount of light soy sauce. I'm using rice wine vinegar. You could just use any old white vinegar if you like. Just a little bit of sharpness. And I'm just going to grate in about a teaspoonful of fresh ginger. And this dressing works fantastically well with tuna, but it's also good with other fish and also it's quite good with chicken too. And just mix it in. So that's our dressing ready. Now it's time to cook the tuna. And over here, I've got a griddle pan. Once you're happy that it's nice and hot, pop the tuna into the pan and it needs one to three minutes on each side. We want some good colour, but we want it to stay nice and pink in the centre. So while the tuna's cooking, I quickly prepare the pak choy. All I'm going to do is cut each head in half lengthways. There we go. Now let's turn that tuna. So be quite careful here. Just ease it gently off the bars first so we don't tear it. And then over we go. We've got some beautiful bar marks there. So I think just a couple more minutes just to catch some more colour and then the tuna will be ready. Now it's a good idea, try not to get distracted at this stage, otherwise it's easy for them to go too far. So I think our tuna has had its time. I'm going to bring over that dressing. And then I'm going to pop the fish into the dressing. Again, we're being careful not to break the fillet. Just using a spoon, I'm just going to drizzle the dressing over there. And I'm just going to leave the tuna just for a couple of minutes to relax and soak in some of those lovely zingy flavours. And over here is a pan for the pak choy that I've just set a steamer into. And they'll only need a couple of minutes just until they're wilted. And then to finish off, I'm going to thinly slice some red chilli and some salad onion, which along with some toasted sesame seeds will be our garnish. That's all of our garnishes ready. The tuna's nicely rested, so let's have a little look at the pak choy. And that looks beautiful to me, nicely wilted. So I think it's time to plate up. I'm going to start by popping some of the pak choy into a nice large plate. And now for the tuna. I'm going to cut it in half. And that's beautiful. Pop that on top of the pak choy. Drizzle over a few of those delicious juices. And then let's finish off with a little bit of chilli, some of those salad onions, and a sprinkle of sesame seeds. Really, really quick and easy and very delicious. That is seared tuna with chilli and pak choy. And don't forget to subscribe for some more lovely recipes.